Greetings guys, this is Stokecraft, and today we're watching a game on the Cromwell B. We're on Sand River, and as you can see, we are not the top tier tank in this battle. We are indeed a bottom tier medium tank. And as we guys know, as we know, what am I saying guys? I don't even know. The Cromwell B is a tier 6 British medium premium tank. It's a very good one. It is uh, almost better than the Cromwell in the game, which is just ridiculous in my opinion. But as you can see, we're on the Sand River, and I'm going to make use of this very good middle position. If you don't go to this position in a medium tank, in whatever tier you are, you're pretty much not doing the right thing. Because from here, you will be able to spot almost the whole of the enemy team if they pass through here. If there's any light tanks there, if there's any tanks camping on these ridges here, you will be able to spot them. And that's the importance of this position. That's why also, I am going there as a bottom tier tank. So... As I said, the important thing is to get the vision out here in this game. And that is something you really want to do because the enemy team has to try and kill us all or cap within the 10 minutes because this is an assault match. And by lighting them up all, of course we can damage them and we, we force them to, to fall back and not invade our base. And that's exactly what we're doing here. So also an Oni is spotted. We got some quite good vision up in the middle and now I really want to see if I can spot tanks that are going to be right here because there haven't been any tanks spotted right there. So that's why I'm going to set myself up here with my binoculars. While my binoculars are setting up I am of course going to still look around around me and keep a very good eye up onto the mini map because that is really important here. So this Oni is just yeah, right in the open he's going to be the target of pretty much any tank that can shoot at him right now. That's also what, what uh, I'm going to do. I can see that his side is pointing towards me. The SU is not aiming at me and I can put a clear shot on his side. Luckily we do manage to kill him as well, which is good. And this Cromwell is just tired of life as we can see. This Cromwell is done for. I don't, really, I don't even know what that guy was thinking. Also this Walker Bulldog, he's done for. <laughs> Simply no words, guys. Simply no words. Anyway, we put one shot into him and then we don't manage to get any of the damage anymore because he gets taken out. So, we're four tanks in front at the moment. Three tanks as I just said that. But it doesn't really matter guys. I want to extend our vision now because yeah, pretty much all of the tanks that were in the middle are forced to fall back. Just like this SU-1244 and uh, the Super Pershing is in a position where I can't hit them. So I want to extend the view range. Um, but for that I really want this SU to die first. So my plan is now to go into this position and then hopefully to be able to advance if the SU gets killed. And that is exactly what happens now. The CDC kills him and I want to go in to this mid bridge here. It doesn't really matter if I die so I can take a little bit more risk because yeah I'm a tier 6 tank in a bottom tier matchup so it doesn't really matter that much. But of course if I manage to survive this I will be able to get a very good result out of this. And as you can see we make some very good spots happen. Two tier sixes and uh, Ferdinand. Very good to spot the Ferdinand there. Unfortunately, he's caught me now. And the thing is, now I can't really run away because if I run away to either side of this ridge, he will be able to take me out. Or at least put the shot into me. So I wait until I'm unspotted. I turn the tank. I use the ridge to my advantage to get away from there. So right now I can see that uh, these tanks are occupied by my teammates and I can help them, I can assist them. I'm going to kill the Super Pershing now, if I can. And also this Tiger, of course. Cromwell is not very good for shooting on the move. And also the aim time is pretty bad, as you can see. But it doesn't really matter. We managed to take down these two tanks. And now we can re-engage back on the tanks. We also spotted on this side of the map. So that's exactly what we're going to do now. And with the assistance of my allies, taking down that Tier 8 Ferdinand and the rest of the Tier 6s won't be a very big problem. Because you can see now the whole team broke through and this is now uh, pretty much a clean up. There's nothing that much that the enemy team can do to still win this game. So we spot the RD, yeah, we spot the SU there, we put a shot into his tracks, we managed to track him, he repairs, we put another shot in. And my teammates underneath me take down the artillery. I bounce a shot from the Yagpanzer 4 which is hilarious and another one. Well sometimes you gotta get a little bit lucky don't you? It's just how World of Tanks works. Sometimes you're very lucky and sometimes uh, it just doesn't work. Anyway, this is just a dream for this uh, for this tank. You've got the side of the Ferdinand and we're just going to be able to put shot after shot into this guy. And this guy is not, very, uh, not playing well. 
is going to manage to shoot down the CDC, but as you can see, we're just going to be able to flank him. And now he makes the biggest mistake. He drives forwards again, which enables me to go behind him again. But it doesn't really matter anyway, as he gets killed. So, there we go. We managed to put another shot into the Cromwell. Of in the Cromwell, in the T-34, what am I saying? So, T-34 aims at me. I want to get the hell out of there if I manage to. Yogurt, who is in my platoon, as you can see with the, the bird, is going to be able to put some good shots into the T-34 as well. So, there's one of the last enemy tanks left, a T-32. Of course, the side armor is very juicy for me. I could put two shots in there. And now he's pretty much the only tank left alive that I can uh, do damage to. So, it's it, I've got all my health left, guys. I'm just going to risk it. He just fired, so I know he just can go in. Put another shot in his side armor. And there we manage to, uh, our team manages to take him down. So guys, only the T-34 is left and I'm going to spoil it. He's not going to be any more damage for me. He's going to die before I even get there. But still, very impressive game for the Cromwell B in a bottom tier matchup. 2.8k damage that we managed to see. I have no idea if he managed to shoot some things blind as well. But it is a very good thing to see that we had such a good game here. And such a good impact in a bottom tier game. So guys, as you can see, the Cromwell B is just an amazing tank. It has got to be one of the best tier 6 premium tanks in the game. Probably the best. And maybe it's just a little bit too good. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. There's a lot of effort put into it as usual. So please make sure you leave a like. And subscribe if you haven't already. And then I will of course see you in the next video. Bye guys.